incidents such as the one at the Beaufort Hunt Christmas Ball at Badminton House in Wiltshire were already earning him a reputation as a hard partying womanizer, and he was still only 17 years old. He had started the evening, like William, wearing a dinner jacket, but it wasn't long before it was off, and so was his bow tie. His shirt was unbuttoned to the navel. That was when he spotted Susanna Harvey, a covetous model daughter of a local businessman, and walked across to her table. He line for me, Susanna told us at the time. I had noticed him sitting nearby, but he and William had an entourage of girls who were falling over themselves to be near them. Perhaps it was because I wasn't really taking any notice that he came up to me. On the other hand, it may have been that she was a shapely 34 DD. They danced to several numbers by the band Nobody's Business and sat down together, drinking champagne. Then Harry suggested they get some air. All this was just a few. Sat down. They carried on dancing and, at the end of the evening, went their separate ways. These days, Susanna, now 39 and the mother of twin sons, is a highly successful businesswoman. She used to... him a playful slap, said Cassie. I began giggling. So he snuggled up close and started whispering in my ear, telling me how sexy I looked and asked him to be a little bit of a little Cassie is married to Portuguese footballer Jose Fonte and has two children. model Florence Bruton L. Bruce, yet another former Stowe schoolgirl and a descendant of the 7th of Cardigan led the charge of the Light Brigade. Now 32, she is married to a banker, Henry St. George, and has a daughter. There is no doubt Harry enjoyed the thrill of the chase. The interior designer Catherine Omani gave a breathless account of how, having got talking with friends to Harry and South Julian Martinez joining us. I'm very alert and get up from Mexico. Niño de ocho meses. Que se lo llevaron a pie, dice. Ah, qué gacho. Pues primero decía que habla pie, después Santa Fe. Then there was the sí. Norwegian rock singer and actress Camilla Amistrand, whom he met after his breakup with Chelsea. She told friends she stayed over at Clarence's house and that Harry served her breakfast in bed. The list of girls seems almost endless, but none of them lasted. And as Harry matured, it was becoming obvious to those close to him that, roughly speaking,